How's it going guys? The Predator tank is doing quite well. I stuffed it full of crazy fish and uh, the fish don't know what to do. There's no aggression and it's doing quite well. So today's question, uh, sorry I look a little haggard. It's been a, uh, a long work week and um, I haven't showered in a couple days and I'm gross, but uh, I'm all about the fish and doing some maintenance right now. As you can see, got algae on this glass and it looks disgusting. Okay, on topic. Today's video, I've been asked this like five times already. Can I keep silver dollars with Oscar fish? I get tons of Oscar fish questions because uh, I, I've kept Oscars for so many years and I have tons of videos on them and people message me all the time about them and I'm also the admin over at Oscar Fish Keepers. And to answer your question is uh, simply no. I don't keep silver dollars with Oscars. And I know I'm gonna hear some gruff on this because, um, you know, I've lost too many silver dollars to think it's a good idea anymore because um, the, on the only reason silver dollars last with Oscar fish is because they're such fast swimmers that they can't catch them. But I'm under the influence that these silver dollars are very uh, scared, skittish, and uh, I mean, they're scared for their lives, essentially. Maybe the only way I would be on board with it is if the silver dollars were massive. You know, like we're talking like a five inch fish where uh, they're more of a size comparison to the Oscar fish. So uh, I think the silver dollars are afraid for their lives. Uh, maybe if you had a large school of them, because they are schooling fish, they feel a lot more secure. But I commonly see uh, people having an Oscar tank with like two silver dollars. And the silver dollar almost always is super nervous and skittish and they get sick really easy and die. And that's because they're not healthy, or I should say they're not happy in the parameters they're in. So, um, I'm trying to just think. I'm gonna get a lot of people pissed off about this because you have kept silver dollars for so many years uh, with Oscars. Um, this is just my opinion. And uh, these fish, silver dollars are extremely timid fish. Like I have videos on them and they don't, they like tons of spots to hide. They like coverage, dark areas. Tetras, some of these tetras are like that. And it's because um, they like to be in large groups and a lot of people don't buy the large groups and that means that they're going to be unhappy and skittish and just not flourish to their full potential. So I'm gonna keep it that simple. Um, maybe the only way I'd be on board, like I said, is, um, by the way, I, I put a red Texas in this tank. My red Texas, I'm trying to find them. Um, I've been having issues with my red Texas getting overly aggressive. As you guys know from previous videos, he, he killed my last blood parrot trying to breed it with a female, and I've pretty much given up on that idea. And now I'm just seeing if he will grow out in this predator tank like the other Texas cichlids did. So I sold the other big Texas in here too. So these, even the green Texas, I've been selling them and uh, awesome fish. So um, I'm gonna wrap this video up, keeping Oscar fish with silver dollars. Um, I wish I had a video to show you silver dollars being kept, but I don't right now. I actually have a video of a friend of mine's old setup. He had a 60 gallon, one of the tall ones you get at PetSmart, a 60. It's the same uh, layout as the 55. And uh, he had two ma massive Oscars with like three silver dollars. And the video gets so many comments, you know, about people interested in doing this. And um, a lot of hate too, because he had two full size Oscars in a 60 gallon tank. So uh, yeah. I don't know why I'm babbling about that, but I'm gonna wrap this up. Look at that beautiful Jack Dempsey. Look at him, so cute. Look at him. Ooh, this Jag, beautiful, beautiful. God, I love Jag cichlids, they're just beautiful.